Okay, here it is, the marlin knot. In my right hand I have line coming off of an old spool that I used for uh, testing knots on. Uh, that's in my right hand, so I've got the tag line now in my left hand. And I'm just going to bend it over into a loop so that the tag line side goes behind the line from the spool. And now I'm holding it in my thumb. Then I'm going to take my hook, stick the line through the eye of the hook on the tag line, put it up underneath the loop, and hold it so that the hook goes down. And I want to make my, my uh, loop big enough so that the hook, hook can go through it. Now I'm going to just wrap this tag line around the bottom of the loop three times. Then I'm going to put my tag line through the loop and the hook through the loop and hold the tag line and the line from the spool, cinch it down keeping an eye on where the knot forms to be able to make the loop around my hook to the size that I want it. This one here has a hook or a loop around the hook approximately an inch. You can make them bigger, smaller, as you cinch your knot, you can adjust it to the size you want. But that gives you a knot that doesn't tighten down on your hook, leaving it free to dangle in the loop. You can cut the tag line then as short as you want.